that there is an issue of violence, of looting, of rioting. Yes, but why are you far. linking it to black people? Well, this That's big city, it, small yeah. town business is racist, is about race. But the cities have yes, more black people it. than the small well, towns. Of course, and you know, why you turn I'm done. I can't. I can't. Good, y'all. It's your boy Ron back with another bang. And today's video is funny. It's almost like a part two of the last video that I just released about Jason Aldean controversial song. I'll put it right here if you want to go watch it. This is the view reacting to it. And some of the stuff that they say is just downright ignorant and ridiculous. But I'm not going to hold you up too long. Thank you guys for the constant support. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that like button. Send it to your friends. Send it to your mother, your grandmother, anybody with access. All the support is appreciated. But let's get right into it. You'll let them play anymore? <laughs> You own South Dakota now? This is Listen, gonna be a hard one to finish. You know, there are lyrics in the song, and I think, you know, he talks about life in a small town, and it's different, you know, and he shows these images. He's got uh, folks uh, from the Black Lives Matter movement, and he's talking about people taking care of each other, and I find it so interesting that it never occurred to Jason or the writers that that's what these folks were doing. <laughs> They were taking care of the people in their town because they didn't like what they saw. Just like you talk about people taking care of each other in small towns. We just I know she's not referring to them riots and them protests as people taking care of their own towns. I, I know Whoopi Goldberg isn't that delusional. Were they not destroying their own towns, burning their own stores, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, going in, stealing stuff? Were they not doing that? How was that protecting your own town? They were busting people in from other towns to come destroy their own town too. Are they are they this detached from society because they got this much money and they're living in a safe area on the hills somewhere? Are they really that detached? I, I really can't believe she just said that. That might be one of the dumbest things I think I've ever heard her say. Do the same thing in big towns. You just have to realize that when you make it about Black Lives Matter, people kind of say, well, are you, are you talking about black people? What are you talking about here? If we're talking about Americans taking care of each other, then it shouldn't be about Black Lives Matter. You should. Oh, there's another side note. I'm pretty sure that all the Black Lives Matter riots was like, it has like a world record for the, like the highest man-made destruction insurance claims in United States history. But yeah, they're just looking out for their, their, their towns or their cities. Come on, bro. Is bull is is complete BS. To be able to show all the different things that have gone on in our country, where people stood up and said no more. We do the same thing that small towns do. That's my two cents to that. Another example is I'm from Baltimore. When Freddie Gray died, unfortunately, back I'm gonna say 2015, they destroyed the city. They destroyed the city. I couldn't even come home for break when it happened when I was in school because I had to go through the city to get home, and it was just like nah. My dad said, just stay there. Too much is going on. Come to find out he had a bunch of self-inflicted wounds and he played like 80% of the part of his, of his own self-deletion. But hey, that's what it is. But yeah, they, but I forgot people here were, they were saving their own town because they were mad about what happened. So well, this was, oh, I'm sorry. This was to me something where about half the people in my life see it one way and half the people in my life see it a different way. So I'm trying to like kind of see what are we disconnecting They're about on. to bring race into I'm this. I'm going to give I him the benefit it. of the doubt that his intent wasn't to, you know, stoke division, glorify violence or racism. I'm going to give him that benefit of the doubt. I don't know. But I'll say this. There was a line. So for the many folks who are offended by this, there's a line in it that says, try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Around here, we take care of our own. So for a lot of my friends and family who are legal gun owners in small communities, they're like, yeah, that's what we do if someone breaks into a story. He's talking about the right to defend yourself. What I thought of when I read that, read that was Ahmaud Arbery. I think of a black man in a small town in the South who literally just got shot for doing nothing wrong. What? How, how, do, you, how do you come up with that imagery? I always say the people that always incite race into every single situation, not based off the situation at hand, but always want to put race into it or the actual racist. How, how does that relate to people destroying their own towns and taking everything that they were taking and hurting people, taking them out their cars, sitting in front of the road so hospital people couldn't get to people that are injured, destroying neighborhoods, everything, burning stuff, throwing bricks through windows. How, how does this, this equate to race? The imagery that he has in the video, it's a bunch of people, but you're only going to say the black people in, in the video. When a majority of it, uh, I'm assuming, what looked to me was majority white. Come on, bro. These, these people are nuts. 
So I think what becomes problematic is that there's a rec there's a lack of recognition of about what this means to about 50% of the country whose experience isn't Jason Aldean's. I like him. I've always liked his music. I'm kind of a country Nobody's guy. Nobody's experiences are the same. But this is also for the folks on the right who are defending this. They see the BLM riots. Many, like I think, many can acknowledge protests, pro protests, and riots um, that. George Floyd's death and murder was evil. It was wrong. It was unacceptable. Yeah, it was. I agree with but that. So was the killing of someone like David Dorn, a black retired police officer who was defending his friend's store and was shot during the riots and aftermath of that movement. So I think if people of good faith can see both sides, they can see there is an issue with this song because of what it means to a lot of communities, but there is an issue of violence, of looting, of rioting. Yes, but why are you linking it to black people? Well, that's We're talking that, about that's the issue. That's the, that's the issue. The, issue. the imagery is what becomes the very imagery. common problem. <laughs> You can, again, you can sing, but you, you know, there's a lot wrong here with this. This is a man who saw what happens when someone is out of control right. with their guns. Yeah. He's he someone who was, he was in performing, performing in, in, Vegas, in, Vegas. in Vegas, and he was, he saw people get, so I don't understand how he could be that disconnected. Oh my God. So these are the type of people when you have one bad situation, you try to attach it to everything you don't agree with. And what I mean by that is people die by guns every day. They just had a mass shooting in Baltimore where 30 people were shot, 15 of them were minor. Two or three of them died. They're going to be people dying every single day of guns, but more people are saved by guns than dying by guns. But they're going to continuously attach it to something negative to try to blow it up bigger than what it is because they don't, because they want to feel some type of way. It's, it, it's absolutely disgusting. How, how can, how can they sit here and just continuously say stuff like this? Oh, he felt disconnected. So with that type of thought process right there, that means we can't talk about cars because people die in car crashes. We can't talk about cancer because people die from cancer. We can't talk about, uh, bad food because people die of obesity and heart issues and all that. So we can't talk about anything because there's always a negative aspect about everything. Oh my goodness. These, these people are just wild. How people around him didn't say to him, hey, listen, you know what? Maybe there's a better way to do this because... When the imagery you, invoked I, race, that's uh, yeah. what was... There's it, no yeah, reason it, it to separate race. big city people from small town <laughs> people. That, to me, is the divisive part of this song. I mean, it's a deplorable song and it's annoying. Got a gun that my granddad gave me. They say one day they're going to round up. Well, that S might fly in the city. Good luck. Keep it's that thing on you. and provocative. But I, I defend his right to do this video. Absolutely. Because okay you know i'll give her that you know and she ain't she if they can say what they want and they believe he can say what he wants okay i can agree with that but everything else nah they they nah please that you are and well, i you, please you, that you, you do are. agree that he should be allowed to say I, whatever he because wants. I, as a lawyer when i put my legal hat on yeah, okay. i don't believe in censorship right. however okay. this man is from macon georgia my father's from augusta georgia and macon georgia i both? spent many summers there yeah both I spent many summers mm -hmm. there. It is one of the most racist places in this country. Mm -hmm. So, does she have proof? Because I'm pretty sure I looked it up. Making Georgia is like almost 55% black and like 35 or 36% white. So, if you're saying it's the most racist town, it normally takes the majority of that race to be considered racist, what some people believe. So, where did you go to where you just faced a whole bunch of racism? And I'm pretty sure like this lady is married to a white dude. So, she's. Talk about how bad it is and how racist it is. You know how this country thinks that only white people can be racist, but they're so detached. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me that he knew nothing I'm about not, what that imagery I meant say he didn't and what he, uh, so I don't give him the benefit. But I'm saying I don't along with him, more doubt. people should the also other, be held accountable. The other thing is that what I, Who? what was evoked for me, which was, you know, I, you're not going to get out of this town. Yeah. Are those sundown? Yeah, don't let the sun areas go down on because your ass. Because there were when here. there were times when black people, my mother's in the audience today. Thank you for coming. Um, Is my mom white? She mixed like me. And my mother and father, because they were an interracial cup, couple, were yep. run out of South Carolina by the KKK. So now we're talking, we went from Macon, Georgia to South Carolina. See, they're just, at this point, they're just, just rambling. Yes, yeah, so there a race problem in this country? At one time, a huge race problem? Yes, but it's also on the side that they lean on political-wise, because I guess they just don't know the history of how everything happened. Not saying the rights are peachy and creams, but when you look at every social injustice issue in history, up from slavery up until the Civil Rights Act, and even past that, the Democrats are on the wrong side of that table, so... Just putting it out there. You can do your research if you want, or I can tell you in a later video. I don't know. And 
my father is still scarred from that experience, and you are still scarred from that experience. So We're don't all tell, still scarred from yeah, that experience. So don't tell me that not only was he aware Shut of what he was doing by using whoopee. that imagery, he embraces that imagery. So is that imagery not from 2020, like not 1920 or 1940, whenever your old parents was it? Come on, bro. Like, not everything with people getting around doing bad things reflects racism. I mean, that kind of insinuates racism when you're part thinking when everything, when anything bad happens, it's, it's with minorities. Like, it's so ignorant. And unfortunately, this became the number one song on U.S. iTunes. There you go. We have a problem in this country about race, and the biggest problem is... We refuse to admit that it exists. Well, don't you think? Okay, so I saw this picture the other day breaking down races when it came to crimes against other races, interracial crimes. Black people kill more white people than white people kill black people. Hispanics kill more white people than white people kill Hispanic people. Black people kill more Hispanic people than Hispanic people kill black people, but they're talking about there's a race issue in this country. Why do they mean to fix problems? You got to start looking at your culture, who you belong to, and everything along those lines. I'm well aware of that. I live in Baltimore. You see like over 90% of the murders in the city are black on black crimes. And that's the same with a lot of large cities around the country, but yet they, they're trying to take a very small portion of something or the lesser portion of a whole problem try to make that into the bigger thing I, I never understood why they do that and this picture also had it was just a guy holding a camera like a video camera for a tv show just focusing on the white on black crimes i mean it's like because you forget everything else because it doesn't fit your narrative that a, That's lot the of the, a lot of this That's big city, of it, small yeah. town businesses, racist is about race the cities have yes, more black people it. than the small well, towns it, of course and it, you know, turn, you turn i'm done i can't i can't their side of their political spectrum believed in their side of the social climate what they believed in if i'm not mistaken wasn't it kumo from cnn they were saying he didn't understand why they weren't out in the streets riding you had nancy pelosi on national television talking about there needs to be unrest in the streets so they're promoting this violence that same side of the spectrum was also freeing people that were locked up from rioting and protesting how can they flip this and turn this into a race thing when they destroyed their own town i was a witness of people destroying my town i came home after the freddie gray incident when they destroyed baltimore and i still couldn't go to some of the places i like because it was destroyed but how how was it how do they turn this song into a race thing but we can glorify rap music talking about their vaginas and all this and killing people hey i ain't gonna lie to you i listen to that music i like the music it's catchy i don't believe in none of it i don't live that lifestyle but that music is definitely catchy but yet people won't say nothing about that they won't say nothing cardi b mentioned about how she used to drug men and rob them and all the stuff like that but nobody cares about it but a guy talks about how in a small town there's camaraderie with the population in that small town that they won't let all that stuff happen because they look out for each other they don't want people to come together they want people to be divided and it, it, it's sad that some people really fall for this nonsense like it's really sad like people just need to just open up and just just love one another don't talk bad about people just do your business go home do what you got to do don't don't follow these these people these, these people here are worse than airborne aids i'm sorry i wish them the best but something in their head they're just so far detached from society it's absolutely nuts but hey another video that was painful to get through i appreciate you guys for watching i'll catch you guys next time don't forget to like comment share subscribe church will be available soon and i'll catch you guys next time